Chloe Watson, fight week is here. How are we feeling? Good. Um, I'd say I'm feeling the best I've, I've ever felt um, coming into fight week. And I'm confident that this is going to be the best performance come Saturday. That's a hell of a way to start. Let's jump on that. What makes you feel so good and confident? What, what, what have you been seeing in the gym? <clears throat> you know, I just think it's timing. I've um, been professional for just under two years now. And I feel like I'm starting to really grow into my own. Um, and like you can see, you know, I'm getting better with each fight. And you're going to see the same come Saturday. What kind of performance can we expect? Are you looking to put on a, a, another boxing showcase? Are you looking to rack up knockouts now? What, what happens with you? You'll have to just wait and see Saturday. You're not giving us anything on there, no? Nothing. You know, I've been feeling good. And, um, you know, I'm a first eight rounder. So tune in and see for yourself. We spoke about this last time about the eight round of the levels going up and what you want to achieve over the next sort of 12 months, 18 months, your, your career trajectory, so to speak. What is the, the mindset here? You're moving up in level. Is this something you want to continue to do throughout the rest of 2023 and on? Yeah, of course. Um, you know, we want to be looking at titles towards the end of the year. Um, and, you know, it's a great stepping stone with my first eight rounder. So, yeah, I do feel like I'm progressing with each fight, which is why, you know, the level of opposition is also um, is also increasing. So It's a big stage. Live on the zone. It's a big show. Josh Kelly in the northeast. You're bringing your own little flavour because your fans are here, and we know that they like to make a scene. Yeah, look, I've got pound for pound the loudest fans in the UK. Ten of my fans are louder than ten of Tyson Fury's fans. I say that with confidence. <laughs> well, we can't wait to see them uh, on Saturday night. Just talk about yourself for a moment when you're getting ready to to perform. It's Saturday night. The cameras are there. You're getting your hands wrapped. You're arriving at the arena, etc., etc. What? What goes on? Is it butterflies in the stomach? What what happens? It's a mixture of feelings, really. Um, but, you know, it's something that I'm used to. It's something that I live for. It's something that I love. I feel like you can either hate it or love it, the feelings that come with fight night. Um, and I definitely love it. I think it, I think it takes... It takes... Um, it takes... It's a line between a fighter and someone who's not a fighter, you know, and that's the difference. Um, you, you, you learn to love the feelings that come with fight night and, you know, rise with the pressure and perform under pressure, you know. Uh, obviously, the man in your corner, he's, you know, he's he's been there going through levels. He's What does he say to you? What does Ricky Hatton say to you uh, about adapting to the to the, the level going up, the crowds going up, the cameras being bigger, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera? What does he say to you about managing that internally? Just enjoy it, you know. The hard work's been done now. Um, obviously, I'd like to think he's got full confidence in, in me come fight night. Um considering he's the one training me up ready for battle. Um, so, you know, just enjoy it. Go out there, show everyone what we've been working on. You mentioned a moment ago it's, it's coming up to two years since your debut. Um, how have you progressed as a fighter? I, I remember that that weekend well. How have you progressed? How have you grown as a person as well as a fighter? Yeah, a lot. You know, I think, like, there's, no, there's noticeable changes from converting from an am amateur to a professional and just sitting down on your shots a lot more, um, getting used to things like this. You know, there's a lot that comes with it. And, you know, like I said, two two years is a long time, and I definitely feel like I'm maturing into that fighter. You know, I'm confident I've got the skill, I've got the discipline, you know, I've got the heart. Um, it's just about maturing now, and I feel like we're doing that. Tell me a little bit about the transition, what you achieved as an amateur, and then how you've how you've used that to mould yourself now as a, as a professional fighter. What's the difference and how have you how have you learned from your experiences? Yeah, so as an amateur, we were two-time national champion, um, GB elite champion, and we won the Youth Commonwealth Games out in the Bahamas. So, you know, I've been in the mix of it all since I was eight, and I haven't really stopped, to be fair. I live for it. I live for boxing. Um, it's actually my dad's wedding this weekend that I will be missing to fight, but... I didn't see it as a sacrifice and I never do. And he didn't question, he didn't even ask me if I'll be at the wedding when he found out that the date got changed. Um, he just knew that this is what I do. And, you know, the decision was already made as soon as I got told that I was fighting on this date. And that, and that was that I was fighting on this date. Um, so obviously I hope my dad has an amazing day, you know, and the family and the friends and stuff. But, you know, I'm here to do a job and that's what I'm looking forward to doing. What was your mindset when you realised it was going to be on the same day as your dad's wedding? Is he going to... Maybe wrap you a piece of cake for, for Sunday morning. What happens there? To be fair, I thought he should have changed it. <laughs> <laughs> should have definitely changed his wedding date for me, 100%. Um, 
but no, like I said, you know, it is what it is, and we're here to fight, and this is what I do, and you know, he wouldn't, he wouldn't have wanted me to be there and not and miss out on fighting, knowing that I would have definitely wanted to be in the ring. Well, we can't wait to see it live on Saturday. What's your final message to people who want to tune in on Saturday night from the Queen of the Pound for Pound, loudest fans in the UK? <laughs> yeah, tune in live on the zone. Um, I'm getting ready to show you all what we've been working on. Well, Chloe Watson, thank you for joining us. We'll see you fine now. Great, thank you.